What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing uh, a $1,200 commercial job. Um, it's about nine o'clock on Sunday right now. So hoping by, uh, by about six when the sun goes down, six or seven, it's done. But it's a building, a little bit of flat work. Um, I landed this job through a connection I have and he got a quote and sent it to me from another company and I went a little bit lower and we got it. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. There's some very big things coming with the channel. Um, but with that, I will go ahead and go to the job. All right, so here is the shopping center we're doing. So as far as the building goes, there's just a lot of crap, you know, spider webs, dirt, whatever. Um, this is a test spot I already did just to make sure that just pressure would get that off. Um, but yeah, so it's basically just a whole bunch of that. The concrete as well, um, it's not super dirty, but there is some organic growth on the concrete. Um, a little bit of rust treatment here and there. I'm gonna use auxilic acid for that. Also, all the windows, uh, we'll be doing that after, the, after we clean the building. Um, and then right here, you can see the uh, downspout is leaking, which has caused some organic growth to build up here. So I'll be using SH on that, but that's pretty much the only place I need to use SH on the building. Um, as far as the sides go, they're pretty clean. Um, just up there, some more, uh, more crap. And then and here's the front, basically the same situation. You can see up top there, there's a lot of that crap. So that's gonna be kind of difficult to get off, but it's pretty much the only hard part about the job. But again, you can just see a bunch of crap built up. Um, I don't believe I'll be cleaning this concrete just cause there's not really any organic buildup on it. So really, really doesn't need to be done. You can actually see some etching done by, I assume, uh, post-construction. So be careful using too much pressure on your concrete. See some more here. Um, and then again over here, just have some crap under the awnings. Um, there's some buildup, or there's some crap right here. Blow all that off. And then um, get rid of this stuff too. It's basically what we're working with. I'm going to start with the building blow all that off and then get this concrete done. And then um, my friend is coming to help me out with the windows and uh, some ladder work and, and all that. Um, actually, there's one more thing. Over here on the dumpster pad, there is um, some rust, as you can see. So I'll be treating that with auxilic acid as well. So I've got my trailer, got my trailer over there. The water hookup is right there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up and get started. Now, one thing I wanna to touch on is even though I am including the price of this job and the fact that I did it a day in the video, this isn't you know normal for my company. Usually I don't make that much in a day. Uh, and beyond that, you know, if you're just getting started out, that's not a realistic expectation. When I was starting out, I never even imagined that I would ever be able to do a job like this, you know, with the amount of experience and equipment that it requires it just you know that would have seemed like too big of a task for me at the time but as you start to build momentum learn more things upgrade your equipment all of a sudden this type of stuff becomes possible and you actually can start making a lot of money but when you're starting out you really have to just get the ball rolling focus on doing the jobs that you're capable of doing and eventually if you build the right systems you know, you're building your Google My Business, you're getting your Facebook listings out, you're shaking hands, you're meeting people, you're doing good jobs, you're getting referrals. Eventually, you're going to start to have lead flow come in and you can start having days like this as well. Now, as far as the big thing coming with the channel, I'm going to be restarting with a new pressure washing business and documenting the entire thing. Uh, but anyways, back to the actual job. So you can see me on the roof here. I took this long cobweb duster pole thing and I was able to get all of that off basically looked spotless um, just by doing that and so didn't have to get up there with a the pressure washer thankfully um, as far as the rust removal right here we put 
uh, oxalic acid on with pump up sprayer, one cup of oxalic acid to a gallon of water, sprayed it on, let it sit for a second, brushed it in, and then here we are pressure washing it off. Um, and then after we got done surface cleaning, we came back with the wand and touched up all the edges and everything. But you can see it pretty much gets rid of the rust. Um, not completely, just because typically you can't completely get rust out, but it, it definitely took 95% of it off. Um, here's Kale doing the windows. Don't have a water-fed pole system at the moment. So just, you know, regular squeegee and brush setup from uh, Home Depot and it got the job done pretty well. So here you can see all the cobwebs are gone. That white color is back. Here on the downspout, all the organic growth got killed. Uh, that's rust remaining, and the owner said to just go ahead and leave it so we don't mess up the paint, uh, which is obviously fine with me. Uh, here you can see the awnings are clean, and also the uh, part where all the cobwebs were, were is clean as well. Uh, for this one, I got up on the awning and knocked all that stuff off. If you remember above that river dental sign, there's tons of cobwebs where the white is and then also on the awning. So all that got cleaned and then I uh, sprayed it off with a pressure washer afterwards. All right, so just wrapped it up. Everything looks good. The uh, property owner already came and saw it. He's happy. Um, so it's now 640, so about a nine and a half hour day. Um, Kale came and ha helped about, um, he probably helped three fourths of the time. Um, and so yeah, uh, 1200 bucks, full day's work. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. Um, I wasn't able to record everything, which I'm sorry about. I'll try to be better about that in the future, get more content, but don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.